Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Mike Powers. Let's begin with Jason Laney in the forecast. All right. It looks like another round of wintry kind of weather for some of the mountainous terrain of New Mexico, believe it or not. Ahead of that, though, the winds continue to blow. That's the case not just for today, Tuesday, but uh, heading on through Wednesday and Thursday, all kind of the same story. As you can see, however, by the time we get into Thursday afternoon, we will see some showers, and especially Friday, some showers could linger in the area. All in all, it definitely looks like like a little bit of wet weather is coming. Most of the areas will be looking at primarily rain. Most of your snow, that will be the areas in blue here, will be confined to elevations above about 8,000 feet. Hobbs police have arrested a 17-year-old boy in the shooting death of his mother's boyfriend. Michael Evans Jr. faces murder and tampering with evidence charges. Officers responded to a home on the 100 block of East Palace around 10 last night after reports of shots fired. When police got there, they found 56-year-old Darnell Mitchell dead in the street from a gunshot wound. Investigators say Evans and Mitchell had an argument before the shooting. Evans is being held without bond at the Lee County Jail. The former Journal Pavilion is now officially named the Hard Rock Casino Albuquerque Presents the Pavilion. The Hard Rock chain today announced a five-year partnership with Live Nation, the company that manages the event center. The summer concert series will kick off on Saturday, May 22nd with Brooks and Dunn. Other acts lined up, Sugarland, Tim McGraw, Lady Antebellum, Corn, Rob Zombie, Rihanna, and Brad Paisley. The Hard Rock Casino recently took over the Isleta Resort and Casino and will work in conjunction with the concert venue. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.